Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. You too. Wheeler Peak, 13,161 feet, the highest point in New Mexico. Yeah. Woo! Killing it! This is amazing! Let's do it! Today is a pretty exciting day for Trekking Pals because we are going to climb the highest peak of New Mexico. We've been already hiking for about one hour. There are different routes to do this trail, but we chose the Williams Lake Trail. I think we are at about 11,000 feet. We woke up pretty early, 4 a.m. We camped here the night before and then we just got to the trailhead we got changed made some breakfast and i think we hit the trail a little bit before 6 a.m so right now as we speak it's 6 58 there aren't so many people on the trail i think there was probably a group two groups three groups that passed us earlier but we're feeling pretty good After one hour of hiking, we got to this junction right here where you can either continue to Wheeler Peak or you can take a side trail and get to Williams Lake Trail, which towards the end of the day, if we feel like we have enough energy, we will probably go to the lake. But for right now, we're just going to continue up. It's amazing how camping here the nights before is making a huge difference. Just by way of camping here, we feel like we are adjusted better to, to the altitude. We found this first camping free in Carson National Forest. I'm going to leave the name of the campground here. It's by the water, which was pretty neat. It's also by the road, but honestly, we were not even able to hear any cars passing by or anything because A, we were tired and then the noise from the water running there was pretty strong. The trail is uh, pretty well marked so far. I'm using my old trail map just to double check from time to time, but it's very straightforward. We're doing this hike towards the end of June. So there isn't really snow on the trail but we are seeing a couple of uh, snow patches in the sides of the trail. I also like the fact that there are plenty of uh, paint signs on the trail. These uh, blue signs, they are useful, especially during winter time when most of the trail is buried under snow and you're snowshoeing. They can be super helpful during winter. Whew. I'm helping myself out with the 30 minutes timers where I would just Set a timer and then just walk, no stopping, slow pace. When the timer is up, I can, you know, just take a water break or snack break for a minute or two. But feeling pretty good, actually. I was uh, expecting to start getting some headaches by 11,000 feet or so, but no headaches at all, which is pretty awesome. Makes it a lot easier. Just climbed all the way where Alex is. That's Alex is dead. I don't know if you can see the trail. We still have to go all the way there. So I took my first break here because I was uh, saying I had a rock that stuck in my shoe and it was bugging me. But I had my uh, liners and my socks. Like, how is, how is it possible that a rock can go inside? It turned out I had a piece of hair wrapped around my toe and it was cut in circulation. It's crazy. Do you see it right here? Oh my goodness. It looked like you were hurting a little bit here, but I think now that you're kind of letting them air out and that it's gone, they'll go back to normal pretty quick crazy things that happen on the trail <laughs> oh the sun is coming out i have to power through get all the way there and figure out what's next oh my goodness that's the trail we came from you can see two people there it's always amazing to stand up high and just think to yourself oh my god 
Did I climb all that? <laughs> really nice views. So pretty. Look at all of the snow and trees and mountains. It's this exceeded my expectations of Wheeler Peaks, to be honest. Break time. I'm gonna be trying some uh, new snacks today. I got these bars from Patagonia Provisions. Uh, the only snack I had from Patagonia Provisions was uh, a can of mussels in lemon and they were so good. So today I'm gonna be trying this one. It's apricot and almond. And then this one is Inca berry with almond. And then the last one is mango and almond as well. Really excited to see if they're going to be tasty. Mm. It's actually pretty good. We're definitely hitting some sections of the trail where we're walking on snow. Nothing that would require snow spikes or anything as such, but we are walking on snow. There is some snow on the trail. Right now we are at about 12,500 feet. So we're up there, we have a couple of crazy switchbacks and then we will get to the ridge and then from there the summit. I think it's around probably a mile that we have left, but even if it's a mile, at high altitude, one mile is a lot of hard work. I pumped two Advil earlier just in case, and I'm feeling very good. <sighs> Brutal. Ah, these switchbacks are kicking my butt. But we were told that this is this is the hard part. It gets uh, a little bit easier. Once we finish the switchbacks, you think I believe that? I never believe a hiker, <laughs> especially if they say, almost there, it's gonna get easier. Nope, it does not. I was doing some uh, stories on Instagram, just trying to come up with ways to distract myself from, uh, from the pain. But uh, Alex was just telling me that we are at about 12,600 feet, which is, the elevation of Humphreys Peak, the, the highest peak in Arizona that we climbed the other day. So it's pretty neat to see that we're feeling all right with the, the elevation and headache and everything all together. So no more graceful hiking. I feel like a beat up dog, quite literally. I've been hearing marmots all over the place, but I can't really figure out where the noise is coming from. They're pretty echoey. Their noise is strong. But uh, plenty of wildlife, especially after 11,000 feet. Uh, we saw a couple of uh, rodents and uh, uh, I saw a couple of birds when we were still, still below the tree level. But uh, really nice. I was also told that there are usually bighorn sheep hanging out here. Um, they're pretty accustomed to people being on the trail, but we haven't seen any so far. A lot of rodents. That's uh, that's about it. Oh my goodness! Last set of switchback, and it should be a lot easier to get to the summit. So we're on the ridge right now. 
and I gotta say, it is well manicured compared to a lot of the other ridge walks that we've done. We've got a bit more to go, but right now we're just taking in our first glimpse on the other side of the ridge, and our team, woo woo woo, is just putting in the work. Whoa! Wow! This is amazing! The first view over the ridge is just gorgeous, oh my goodness! It's incredible, it's really incredible. I'm just so happy to be doing this, it's, it's amazing! up there. Let's go. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this was worth it. Woo! The team walk. High speak in New Mexico. Yeah. We made it. Congratulations guys. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. You too. There we go! <laughs> Wheeler Peak, 13,161 feet, the highest point in New Mexico. Okay, so we're about to start heading down, but before we do that, I want to show you around here. So this is what we've got. I'm gonna take you to where I have all of my stuff over there. Imagine him trying to There it is! We're starting to make uh, our way down. Uh, there's probably on the ridge here, there's going to be a bit of wind, so I'm not sure if you can hear me clearly, but uh, yeah, same way we came up is the same way we go down. I was just thinking to myself that the cherry on top of all of this uh, hike is going to be seeing some bighorn sheep, and I think we just spotted some. My god, this can't get any better. I just stood by the edge to take a picture and there was this marmot who was just sneaking, sneaking, showing his head and I took so many beautiful photos of the marmot up there and then as I continued hiking, he just stood up on the peak of that <laughs> rock and uh, it was amazing, it was an amazing sight. It's like, this can't get any better. Just right there, right there, it's crazy. It's a little waterway. Oh. I think you can make it pretty good. I wouldn't try to get a lot of speed. I would try to. It's one step at a time. So I think we moved into a period of complete cloud cover now. And we're just making our way back down to the tree line. I don't think we're worried about any lightning or anything, but if it does rain, it seems like some of the trail could get muddy. And uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Still pretty pretty. Mm. On the easier leg of the journey now. More and more cloud cover, but still it's just comfy really. We've seen a couple of other large rodents, whether they're marmots or gophers or groundhogs or whatever. Still beautiful. So pretty. How you doing back there, baby? You enjoying your pictures? Yes, I'm having the time of my life. Mm. This is amazing. So much wildlife, snow, mountains, lake, everything, everything that you can hope for. You're getting a full dose of nature today. Break time! On a mountain with snacks. Hey, Habiba. What is in your bag? These are all of the snacks I got. But to be honest, the snacks that I was really excited for, like cheese strings and apples, I didn't bring them. But I mm. tried new things. I tried Honey Stinger Energy Chews. They're really good. Better than the goo? Yes. Oh, wow. Karina ah. recommended them last time. Shout out to our friend Karina. Boop. And then I brought these uh, RX Bar. 
Also recommended. Recommended this either hike with Mike or Foma. I don't remember. I think hike with Mike did. But anyway, so I had them in the past, but I brought two new flavors: banana and coconut. I didn't have them yet, obviously. And then I talked earlier about the Patagonia provisions. These are good. And Advil. Delicious. <laughs> then what do you got over there, Dad? Some Cheetos? Is that what that is? Alrighty. We are still making our way down the mountain. It's a lot easier going down than up. Probably a little bit towards the switchbacks. When you start going down from the switchbacks, it probably requires more focus. But then once we got below the tree line, which you can see we are already below the tree line, it gets a lot easier. So our goal was to make sure that we are below the tree line around 12, no later than 1 p.m. Uh, because there are usually thunderstorms rolling in between 12 and 2 and you really don't want to be that exposed during that time. So really nice that we are uh, right here now. We're not pressured by time. And we probably have a little bit over two miles to get to the trailhead. Pretty, pretty nice. It's so quiet. Just me. And birds chirping. It's amazing. We're back uh, at the junction of uh, Wheeler Peak and the lake. And I think I'm gonna go check out the lake. I was told that it's not supposed to be that far away. And my map actually agrees to it. So let's check that out. This is the same trail that we saw from up top. I took some uh, pretty neat photos, but I wanted to come down here because I'm sure it's a, it's a different type of view. Really pretty. Wow, look at that. And a lot of chipmunks. I see a trail that goes over there and then there's a sign. So just gonna walk a little bit further. It's funny because I told Alex and his dad that I'm not doing the lake because I thought it's probably two miles in or so, but then I changed my mind. So I'm gonna make it pretty fast so that they're not concerned. Well, as I sat here taking some beautiful photos of this lake, it started to rain. It was raining right now. I guess I should uh, go and make my way back and cover my backpack and cover myself as well, but it's raining. Alex is gonna get a good laugh at this uh, goofy poncho. I realized yesterday that I didn't pack my uh, backpack cover, but luckily I found this one in my camping gear. I found this poncho. I got it probably four years ago when we did the Inca channel. I was like, yeah, that's great. It will not only cover my backpack, but it will cover me. So there we go. We made it. Ah, oh, this was an amazing day. This is, by the way, Taos uh, ski resort area. I just stopped by tourist the restrooms, but you can see the, the ski lifts all the way there. And they have a couple of restaurants and I'm assuming that they also have a lodge. So if you are into skiing, this is a great area. I love the chairs with the, the New Mexico Zia swim. It's pretty neat. 